Usually when I teach technique, I talk about two things. This and this. Mindset and ergonomics. For many, many years, I used to play and my playing sounded and looked something like this. As you can see, it's very stiff, it's very tight. Tension throughout the body. It doesn't start here, it starts here by biting my lips. So what happens is your face is tight. And when your face is tight, your shoulders go up and then your elbows flare out. And then you hold the sticks, you grip them too hard, then you're tight. And you have all these great ideas, but you can't execute them. You don't flow, you don't groove. So of course, everyone tells you like, hey, relax. But no one's helped if somebody's like shouting at you to relax. <laughs> You gotta know what to do. And you gotta know the reason why you are like this in the first place. For my part, the reason why I played like this for many, many years was because I was anxious. I had like low grade anxiety in my play. Maybe I thought, okay, I'm not good enough, or I might fuck up, or I had stage fright, or I was nervous, or I felt I didn't prepare enough. Whatever it is, there are so many reasons why you feel like this, but a lot of it is just psychological, okay? And you have to dig deep and see what, what it is. Another reason why you might play like this and be tight is because that's the way you were taught when you were a kid. It was like this, elbows out, you know, like a V here, traditional grip, left, right, you know, that kind of thing. And you can already feel the tension here. Just consider this for a moment. If this is a hose, like a garden hose, and there is water supposed to go through it, right? So you have so many kinks in there. One, two, three. And if you're tight, like the water doesn't flow. But if you relax, the water can flow. It's not that hard. At least that's the way I try to teach. Sit relaxed, you drop your shoulders, arms hanging off to the side. You put your hands on your thighs. And then you just bring your right hand up as if you were to shake someone's hand. Boom. Put a stick in. That's it. This is a fantastic position because you can use the wrist. But you can also use the fingers. And that's 80% of my playing. So again, just to demonstrate so you can hear and see the difference. We're going from this. this.